for a minute and let's talk about your love Cause we're guys in the mix and the way we have a split up Never giving up, even if the road gets tough Tapping away Kingdom Harris podcast, we got that game of fake hope and love Tune in for a minute and let's talk about your love Cause we're guys in the mix and the way we have a split up Never giving up Tapping with Kingdom Harris Podcast We got that game of fake hope and love Hey, what's up, everybody? So we're back at it again with another episode of Kingdom Marriage And listen, we are so happy to be back Yes Like, oh my <laughs> goodness and I think you are more excited that we are back, right? <laughs> yes I am, I am I'm totally excited But let me just tell you, let me give you all a little joke off uh, a behind the scenes joke. First of all, I need you to know my wife smells wonderful, <laughs> okay? Reason why I'm saying that is because I think she uses this podcast time as time for like, you know, like a like a mini date. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I, 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 that's how I feel. But when she walked out the room, I was like, okay. I see he what speak, you did. I want him to speak, you know, like, oh, oh I just God. love being married to this woman. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> but I just had to put that out there. But um, I am truly excited to get back on board. Y'all know last week the topic was before I say I, I do. do. Before you say I do. Before you say I do. We gave you some final points, some things that you need to do, some things to look at. Um. Go back. Watch the video. Uh, Watch the video. Yeah. I know you guys are excited for part two. Like, oh, I can't wait for part two. This was so good. We got so much uh, message to say. That was so good. So we're so happy that you guys are blessed, truly blessed by what it is that we are sharing and pouring out to you guys. And just know that everything that we do, we make sure we take it to God first, mm-hmm. that we give you all mm-hmm. what it is that he have us to give you all in this moment so that it will speak directly to your situation. Say something What quick? you want to say? So, hey, guys, we are rocking. Just okay. let me throw that in there. Okay. So, we are rocking our evangelist brand. Okay. If you don't know, check out us at www.evangelistnow.com. Com. That's where we spread the word of God. Yes. See? We yes. evangelize even now. This is ministry for us. So, check us out. We are rocking. She got a growing grace on. Yes, I love and it. Yes, got his hat on, and I got my hat on. So, check us out. Yes. So Just to listen, don't be afraid. Hit hit up the site. Hit up the site. Share your faith with someone through fashion. Yes. Through fashion. Through fashion. I saw a clip over the weekend that said fashion first started in the garden. Of <laughs> and it's, listen, listen. It's with those leaves. Eh? With those with those leaves. Now. Yeah. Look so. here. And you could mm-hmm. rock it. Like, I'd be so happy to throw these hat off in my hair and not fix, you know. Just fun. And you could still be in style. So, yeah, just wanted to throw that in Y'all already so know what it is. check out our online site. That would be such a great blessing to us. Thank you. www.evangelistnow.com So, without further ado, ding, 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 before ding, ding. I say I do part, part two. two. <laughs> so, you know, we stopped at... I think four, Child, number four. I, we start the number four. We start the number four. And it's one more thing I just want to tell you. There, marriage is a lifelong commitment, mm-hmm. okay? People think about it and say, oh, yeah, I just get married. And if I don't like it, I'll just get divorced. That's not the way to go. No. It's a lifelong commitment. And not just a commitment to your spouse, but a commitment to God. God. Yeah. That's why marriage is holy you get to take part in something holy and acceptable by god so handle it with care and love Mm -hmm. um but we got some points like i said we are number five in this episode so let's dive in yes all right so number five compatibility compatibility i think is is very important when it comes to not just marriage, but relationships mm-hmm. on the whole. How do you have a friend who you're not compatible about? Like, how do you make a friend with someone that you don't have nothing in common with? Nothing that that don't make sense. 
Y'all be sitting at the table looking in each other's face like. The only thing y'all have in common is <laughs> eating the food. <laughs> eating the food because he talking and you looking in at him like, how I get on this date? He mm -hmm. looking at you like, how I even this date with her? Like, nothing is there. <laughs> I said right there, you're, you're, not, you're not in love with him. You're in love with where he takes you. <laughs> and that's about it. That's, that's about it. Like, oh my God, he takes me to wonderful extravagant places oh i love i love her because she's buying me things like where is the compatibility yeah yeah where's the compatibility <clears throat> where is the compatibility take the time to truly understand your partner ensure that you are compatible in a significant in significant areas mm. of life discuss your values mm. that means like you got to know where you, are where you actually taking this, the goals, the, the expectations for the future, the compatibility, compatibility goes beyond just your shared interests and involves uh, aligning on important matters such as finances, family, and life choices. I think we, we touched that before on another episode. Like You have to know at the end of the day, what is the goal? Because every marriage has a purpose. Yeah. You know, we, we strongly believe in ministry for marriage. Yeah. But also, what is the goal? Are we saving towards a house? Are we, do, do we plan on putting the kids in private school or government school? And if yeah. we're doing private school, what are the goals? How do, are we going to save? What, what little bit of money? You're all, tapping into finances. <laughs> the, com, compatibility. Yeah. 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 All of those are compatibility. Mm -hmm. You have to be compatible with your spouse, think long term. If you're gonna think you're gonna be compatible, you wanna think long term. And I think you can take number six because number six is something that I know you speak highly on. <laughs> so number six is communication. Hmm. A healthy communication is a foundation of a successful marriage. Communication is so important. That's the only way where you're going to prevent misunderstanding and to strengthen your bond. We, we, we tend to read our spouse's mind. <laughs> or we want them to read us. Or we want them to read us without actually having a conversation. He said something, so now you're thinking, are you carrying on like that? Without even having a communication, without saying, hey, what did I do wrong? Where did, where did I go wrong? So you definitely have to have a communication. What I always tell my husband, let's talk about what we like and what we don't like about each other mm -hmm. so we can know how to fix that. That's all a part of communication. It's going to help the marriage to be more healthy. Okay, I don't like when you do this. So now I know because he is not only thinking it, mm -hmm. but he's now saying it. So I can now work on myself. Now okay. you know to avoid that. And my husband now said it, so I'm going to like, okay. Mm -hmm. I, like, I'll be cautious. Okay, he don't like when I do that. So when I find myself like doing something he don't like, I just catch myself. I say, oh, he don't like that. Mm -hmm. So And vice versa. And I vice don't want versa. you to think that, oh, she's a slave. No, vice so versa. You the, way, mm -hmm. the way she submits to my feelings, I submit to her yes, feelings yes. as well. But the only way you can know that is having a communication. There must be... Communication is heavy in a marriage. Mm -hmm. Heavy. It, it have to be on top. God, and then you all have to communicate with everything, every situation, every problem, every past thing that um, 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 you, you think your spouse might need to know. You have to bring everything to the table. You have to talk about everything. Sometimes you don't because it's so hard. Like my husband, like even when he used to have... What he used to do is he used to try to keep every if something bothering him, yeah. he used to try to keep everything in and and I'm like, you could talk to me, you could open up and talk to me. And it's like he don't wanna put the problems on me. I'm like, no, if we can do this, we have to do this together. So you have to allow me to open up so I can know exactly what you're thinking, what you're feeling. Um, I'm bringing on the table. And when he used to do, when he started to do that, he said he would feel like lords. Sometimes he's come so much, I'm like, 
<laughs> he's just he's saying you tell me I could just bring everything you to you. Me, I, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell and you. And he's like you. literally. See, but bring everything, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, baby, okay. You 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 could have keep that in. Are you sure you want to keep that in? Let me so, let down me. to the little stuff. He want to bring, but I love it because it 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 helps our marriage, mm-hmm. our relationship to be more healthy. And let me touch on communication in the aspect of the man, the man, you know, the man rule. Like what you you said that at first I didn't know how mm-hmm. to come and express my feelings. And I think that's because growing up as men, the world teaches us to be a man and hold everything on our back, keep everything in our mind and keep it together. We were taught that. We got to protect. We got to keep it together. We got to keep it together. So we only know how to be an alone man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But we never learn how to be a man with a woman. Because when you are a man, see, you know how to be a man with a girl. Mm-hmm. Don't miss that. You got to know how to be a man with a woman. And that's where compatibility, because if she's a woman... She can take on some of my hard times and my responsibilities that I have going on, the things, the stress that I have going on in my head. This is why we talked about the way um, Eve w- was created from a part of Adam. Adam, yeah. Because now, what's my struggle? You become a part of. Yes, yes. So... We have to realize that, okay, if she is my rep, my my mm. my woman, if you're my woman, yeah, then you can be able to hold and help me help me carry the world on my shoulders, not just leave the world on my shoulders. Yeah. Yes, I'm protecting you. Yeah, yes, I wanna keep you covered and protect you. Yes, you're my woman, yes. Yes, when that protection time comes, you know I got you, you know, you know, yeah. you know. So but <laughs> But at the end of the day, for us to have a successful marriage and a successful family, mm-hmm. it has to be all two of us yeah. holding this you thing You have to be up. like the pillow. We got to be the pillars. We got to. It just we got can't to. be on one person. We got to. And, and, and even communication, communication ties into number seven. Number seven is emotional intelligence. That's your thoughts. Yeah. That's your, your thoughts. thoughts. Your feelings. You have to, yeah. you have to understand... You have to now manage your emotions, like things that would get you fired up yeah. and mad. The way you speak to people, and I, you know, I, I get checked with that a lot. No, and I gotta check. I gotta, sometimes if if you don't check me, sometimes I gotta check myself. Like, yeah. hold on, wait. I think I said that. Now, like even when I miss and say something, I find myself coming. Now, nah, I didn't. I don't want you to think I meant saying it. Like, I didn't mean it like that. Like even if that's. Your emotional intelligence to understand that certain things your wife does not like or your husband yeah. don't like the way you come at them, you got to know how to tone it down. Tone bring it down. down. Let me bring it in. Wheel it. Wheel it. Wheel it. Wheel it. Wheel it. Wheel, wheel it. Come wheel again. It in. <laughs> so, with, when me and Tanaj um, got married, <laughs> my tone used to be a little more rowdy. Spicy. Spicy. I used to get loud and and Lil Lil up there. And it shout, used to bother him. Shout out to her household. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> yep. And that's, and, and we can take some things we, we get from our household. We can carry into our marriage, mm-hmm. into our new mm-hmm. home. Because mm-hmm. with that, I used to be so loud and rowdy because of my, my, my mom. She would be loud and rowdy. And not to say that. She's rowing, you know, it's just a tone. That's just, that's just, that was just her? Yeah, that just was... a tone. So I had that when we first got in the marriage and it used to bother him. He, he did not like it. He's like, I did not come from that, that kind of way. I, I feel to... like, I, you know, you feel like you're getting attacked, but you weren't really getting get attacked. It. Yeah. But it's just, I, I just ain't used to it. So I just right? want to talk to the two, both, both. Yeah. You, some things you have to leave. You gotta leave Behind. your old house, that, that you gotta leave that your old that, family that, 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 that sassiness woman, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that, that argue, you like to argue or, or, or you think you have to always like have some to say back Go to ahead. your spouse. 
Go ahead. You got to check that because you can't go in a marriage like that because, listen, because you're all in for a long run uh-huh. and a long haul, you're, you're, you can't carry that. It's going to become where he can't stand it or where she can't stand it any mm-hmm, longer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you have to now check that. Check the, your tone of voice. Check yourself. Check, check, check yourself the way you before say, you wreck yourself. <laughs> before you think before you speak. Yeah. Think before you even say what you want to say. Because some things you're going to need to hold back. Yeah, we, I know we're talking about communication and, and, and we want to just say everything. Some stuff is left to be unsaid. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you want to avoid like trouble and an argument, you will have to like say, well, okay, I'm going to leave that alone because I know I need to continue to work on myself and I, I tend to like row back a lot. So let me see how I can now work on me and try to pull back or try to just calm down or try to check myself. Now, Jason, you got to check yourself because your husband don't like it. So you can need to change mm-hmm. the way you speak. And guess what? What I'm doing how I'm doing? You doing good? Re- like total change doing, because doing, I made doing, up in doing, my you're mind. You doing awesome? Like yeah. You, let me let me say this. I, hold on, I made up in my mind that I want the best for my marriage. So mm. whatever it is, I need to change and work on personally. I'm gonna work on that. Even if I have to continue to work even now to make a better me for him, mm-hmm. I'm gonna do just that. And, and I it's. It's so it's so crazy because even even now your your mommy when she see the way we like she, her tone switches when she gets in the house mm-hmm. and because it's the tone of, it's the tone of the room it's the tone of the home it's the tone of the family now things are shifted now see when you don't carry those talks certain toxic traits and you may not even know it's toxic because you in the advi- in the yeah, environment it's when you when you it's when you leave, leave yeah you start to realize hold on wait everybody don't do that yeah certain things i had going on in my family i thought what hold on that, that that's not normal yeah that's not normal everywhere so even 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 with that you got to start even with not just shifting but you now got to understand the world works differently outside of your regular home. Some people do speak like that. You open up my mind now that some people do just speak loud and don't mean nothing by it. Mm-hmm. So now instead of me getting mad at someone else for speaking loud and not be meaning anything by mm-hmm. it, I learned to just chop that up to road tax. Like, okay, cool, no problem. I learned to handle handle with care. I learned to respond still with my same response instead of yeah. saying, boy, yeah. I don't know what I want me looking at me like that. Yeah. See, these are the things you learn when you become compatible mm-hmm. and emotionally intelligent because now you ne- learn that the emotion that you thought was behind it isn't behind it. It's so good to learn your spouse it's so good to learn the background that they came from as well. Mm-hmm. So you wouldn't know what mm-hmm. to expect. Okay, there, a lot of this used to happen in a family. So now I know what I need to deal with and we need to find how we can now handle. So all of this is now preparing y'all before y'all say I do, you know. And fellas, check the background. Because we like to scream, boy, that girl crazy. She's crazy long time. I mean, you know, you know what I, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Yeah. like she had, she had a problem a long time. Yeah. But you let yeah. the 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 skin color change you, yeah, the shape so. change you, you let I mean, the shape blind into- you. I mean, the skin color blind you, the shape blind you. Check into them backgrounds. <laughs> you gotta check the backgrounds. Mm-hmm. Now you got a crazy baby mother. Now you now you now you got a crazy ex girlfriend. Yeah. Now you got someone key in your car. Yeah. <laughs> check the back round. You gotta check you gotta check the back round. Um the next thing finance financial finance. compatibility. Finances. You can marry for love. You can marry for ministry. What are you gonna do? Is she really gonna stick around when you on zero? And <laughs> if you get to zero, what is your plan? Do you have a plan to run the bike back up? And I want to speak to, I want this for my ladies that Go ahead. this is for the married ones mm-hmm. as well. 
Because I know we're talking about um, preparing for marriage, but I want to say this. I know sometimes life hit us in certain ways where the spouse either as much as you or they hardly making some you might be making more than them and you're saying now hold on and the husband's supposed to be the head of the home so why it's like everything is on my shoulder why am I having to pay for this mm -hmm. why am I always having to to go in my pocket and having to scrap up to pay for for the school or the the bills or, or food or dinner whatever it may be I want to encourage you. Maybe it's just a season of that. If God place you with him, mm -hmm. God know exactly what he is doing. Yeah. God is seeing if he can tr even trust, trust you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember last year <laughs> with my finances. Yep. I could not find my card and all of my money that was going to my account, I had to now transfer to him. And <laughs> in that moment, at first, I'm like, he can spend all my money. This is my money. <laughs> he can spend all my money on him. Or what if he miss and spend my money on? I know you like Amazon. I, we can touch into that right now. Oh, I know you like Amazon. So what if he go spend? But I believe God was testing me in that moment. Because it was like I was making the finances and he wasn't at that time. But I did not let that get the best of me because I know once he have it, he's going to make sure his household is free. Yes. Your spouse might not be making as much as you want him to make, as much more than you. Your spouse might not have what you thought a man should have mm -hmm. because you... Maybe a past relationship, you someone just was taking care of you and paying for everything, and now your now spouse or your now husband, he don't have what the next had. <laughs> and we have to be so careful on comparing because you don't know what the future holds. A big opportunity mm -hmm. could come for him, mm -hmm. and this man could say, baby, you've been taking care of me for so long. I know for years, I know sometimes you were frustrated. I know sometimes you felt like everything was on your shoulder, but guess what? This big check came in for me and you don't even have to worry about working or you don't even have to worry about nothing else. I'm going to take care of you like a queen. I long for the day. <laughs> so even in moments of you feeling like a lot is on you, God, at least God give it to you to help. Yeah. You ever look at that, okay, he's not making enough money, but I am making enough money. So I'm going to do exactly what I need to do to help in this moment until he can get up on his feet, until he could be able to provide mm -hmm. much more. Mm -hmm. But until then, I'm going to hold, I know they say 50-50, but he don't have the 50 with the finances. He might be doing everything else. Let me... But he might not have the 50 with the finances. So now in that moment, you just got the sweet girl. God is giving, in, giving you the blessing to be able to pull the other 70. I said. Whilst he have the 30. <laughs> Sorry. Whilst he have the 30. So you just pull that. Because guess what? When the blessings come fair. And you know he love you. He love you. So he's going to take care of you. He's going to sacrifice whatever he can, but you just got to trust this, this season that you're in. Mm. I don't know who's that for, but trust the season that you're in when you feel like I am doing everything on my own. It's not that he don't want to um, take care of uh, or he don't have. It's just that he don't have the finances at this time. <laughs> my husband, <laughs> he didn't have the finances at that time. But guess what? He made me feel special in every way. He did what he could have do. I did what I got to do. And I appreciate it. I did not beat down on him. I did not say, you worthless, or you don't even have enough money to take care of the family, or you can't even put grocery in it. It's not because he hey, don't hey, want to. It's just that the like you job. Had a for, like, it's just that the job is not giving <laughs> him joking. that at this time. But, see, and, and, and what, I loved, what I love about what you did is you, you're speaking 
you're speaking to the women that some of them may they okay with submitting mm -hmm. they okay with listening because that's what we think submission is just listening they'd submit all day but they ain't trying to submit that bank account they ain't trying to submit that money yeah. what, and that's where trust comes in comes and this in. this is why god is calling you to how your husband to lead what let him lead you we you know we we okay with letting the man lead and be the head as long as he leading and being the head with his money mm -hmm. his finances mm -hmm. But what do you do when you have to let him lead with but your yes. money? <laughs> wow. <laughs> he he got to lead. He got to lead with your paycheck. Mm -hmm. But wow. this is why financial compatibility is is big. Notice everything that we spoke on, it all goes down to compatibility. Mm -hmm. Communi com compatibility and communication Compati Family. compatibility with nice emotional choices. intelligence yeah. uh, compatibility with financial and then and then to have family goals know what your don't try to overspend especially those who preparing for marriage if you say you want a home if you say you want a car mm -hmm. You all gonna have to find a budget. Don't I know you want to do your date night, but do your date night a little small where you're at home or I, I, ice cream on. You don't have to keep going out to, let me, to these let me, restaurants and restaurants. Go let on. me let me say this. This isn't something that we learned right away. We mm -hmm. jump in there. We were just lavishly, <laughs> just doing whatever and ever and ever and ever until we 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 had to learn it. We had to learn. We had yeah. to learn it. So take our words as a prevention precaution like learn the budget yeah learn, learn to the learn to enjoy the smaller things because it, it's some smaller things that that you get the deeply emotional connection to your spouse mm -hmm. um it wasn't the times that we took it, it, it's more it's not the times that we took drives where we remembered the most it's the mm -hmm. times where we took walks yeah. That we remember the most. It's not the times when we ate out lavishly that we remember the most. It's the times where we really ain't out of the eat lavishly. Yeah. Must he making <laughs> noodles and <laughs> Vienna sausage? Like, like, yeah. Like for real. Like I, literally. I, like it's those small moments. It's those small moments. It's those small moments. Like, babe, me ain't got no food. I can make you this 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 can spaghetti. Especially those who are preparing <laughs> for marriage. Like, especially if you're planning on having a wedding and it's and after after the wedding, save, cut down on certain stuff. I remember when we was preparing, we, we said to each other, we're going to eat noodles. Oh, we was doing that. And we was doing that. Um, because finances could cause a big thing in the marriage. Mm -hmm. If there is no money, you become frustrated. You start to look at someone else who have money. Yeah, you start to look at, don't go on a job, ladies. And then the, the, the fellas there, hey, I'm going to treat you for dinner today. I'm going to buy you lunch today. Try to say it in a nice way. You buy the lunch. Then the next week, buy something else. And then when you go home, your husband and he could maybe cook you craft dinner. But you get so blindsided by the things, the world things. Or or, or because he can't, or oh, y'all having financial problem at home. And someone now buying me lunch. Don't let it be well. Hey, I buy you a little treat today. And, and you compare, and, little, and, you, and then you with, end up with the brand name, Tory Birch. Hey, I buy you this, and then you you see that now. So you, now you you begin to get thirsty for something else because your spouse or your 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 boyfriend, your fiance now can't give it to you because you're having financial problems. So now you're looking for someone that has money. So you all have to learn how to work, even when you have financial problems. Because it might come a time when y'all literally don't have it because y'all spent all the money on the house. And don't get caught up. Don't get caught up in, in, in that thing, that that person on the side who trying to wheel you in. Because they're only trying to wheel you in to get you. Not only that, you comparing a man who taking care of responsibilities to someone who has no responsibilities. That. The only thing he gotta pay is rent. 
Yeah. And, and, and a little light bill. Yeah. But your husband holding down everything. You're all holding down. You all don't have the finances because you're taking care of three children, four children, one child, whatever. How much you have a child? Children. Um, school fees, doctor visits, mortgage, rent, whatever. However, you're all dealing, you're dealing accordingly. You're all dealing with grown people problems. And you let someone trick you out of your position because someone who don't have no responsibilities trick you out of your position uh-huh. of your home, your marriage, yeah. your your relationship, your house, your whatever. You let them trick you out of your position because you thought the grass was greener, but not even grass. <laughs> but that is. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to say, oh, geez, I want to say too. Green dirt. <laughs> Stop throwing up in his face or even thinking it like, or oh, some, he used to give me this though. He used to give me that, the past. You with the next man now or you with your husband now and you thinking, you dwelling on how Tom used to take care of you. And I, boy, when I was with Tom, he used to buy me the best and you ain't with Tom no more. You with Jack. <laughs> so <Boy>. Jack... <laughs> Jack might can't buy what Tom used to buy. But you break up with Tom for a reason to be with Jack. So you see what it is exactly what that person have for you and you work within whatever that is. You might can't get the Tory and Birch like you used to with the past. But ain't nothing like being with who God have for you and you're making, you make your empire, you make your business where you can be able to purchase your own Tory and Birch. Hey, so listen, let me, let me, let me just say this to y'all. Everything we're saying here is to get your mind prepared mm-hmm. for marriage. Before you say, I do. Before you say, I do. These are the things you have to think about ahead of time. We're giving you real life scenarios off of things that happen so you could prevent these things from happening. Um, and the biggest, I don't even know what number we on, but number let me <laughs> let me say this before, because before we go, we don't you know we just don't have much time. Yeah. Because it's so in time to pick up the girls. Um the biggest thing is commitment. You have to understand that marriage requires a big and deep commitment to your partner and the relationship. This is why you have to stay committed. Committed. That Those things what you were saying, you owe your partner mm-hmm. the dedication to stay committed during difficult times. You owe your partner the commitment to your home, your marriage, your kids. You owe your partner this commitment. That's what that's what marriage is. Marriage is a commitment to your spouse and a commitment to God. Mm-hmm. And we could give you a list of things to do before you say I do things, the way to think before you say I do. But can I tell you? You're going to have to do it your way. At the end of the day, you're going to have to do it your way. Yeah. But follow these guidelines and you won't go wrong. Follow these guidelines and you won't go wrong. Um, let God lead you to the aisle. You know, you're going to get walked down that aisle, but let God lead you to that aisle. Mm-hmm. Before... Oh, and Holy Spirit is downloading right now. So you gotta, y'all gotta excuse me on this one. <laughs> this, you know, we spoke on how speedy these marriages are happening on the last podcast. I need you to understand this. The proposals will not look the same. <laughs> Don't get so hype up about, oh, he didn't give me my dream proposal. Oh, he didn't stand in front of Government House. <laughs> oh, he didn't stand in front of Paris, Paris the yeah. Eiffel Tower, and proposed to me. He didn't have the candles, or oh, that one had the big marry me sign. 
the way God is doing something, it's not about the proposal. It's, it's about the purpose my God. in your marriage. Mm -hmm. It's not about the wedding. <laughs> it's about the ministry, the ministry of your marriage. The way God is doing some stuff, you have to understand. It's not going to look the way everybody else's looked. Because your marriage isn't going to be like everybody else's marriage. Mm. God is trying to get something to you. And this is why we're having this podcast mm -hmm. to say, before you say I do, check yourself. Yeah. Check yourself. Make sure your heart is postured. Check yourself and make sure the heart is postured the way that it needs to be postured. Yes. Make sure that you're doing the thing that you need to do. Make sure your mind is ready for yeah. it. Make sure that your mind is compatible with God is saying, make sure that your relationship is the relationship that God has you to be in. Before you say, I do, these are the things that yes. you need to do. These are the things you need to think of. So we only can give you a list. Yeah. But let Heavenly Father, let His Holy Spirit download His set list that is purpose for you and designed for you. Things that you need to check off. And now that you say check off, someone downloaded on me and I want y'all to do this. Those who, especially those who are preparing for marriage and those who are married, get a list. What you like, what you don't like. Uh -huh. And y'all share, y'all have conversations about that. See how we can work around that. So actually make this a, a, a date night. Hey, come together. Let's talk about things we don't like let's talk about things we like let's talk about the how i want to be um f how i want to be pleased or what pleases me or how you want to feel how i want to feel or mm -hmm. what makes me happy what makes, makes me smile like and and give this to him and give that to her and see how y'all can now work with this and and help your relationship even before you say i do and even those that already say i do how this can now help your marriage to become more more of what God call it to be, because now you will be able to understand each other more. Oh, my partner don't like this. Oh, I know how she like to feel when she see flowers on the table. Oh, I know how she like to feel when she see the kitchen clean. Mm. Oh, I know how she like to feel when she see the bathroom clean. Oh, I know how he likes to feel when he see his, his clothes iron up in the closet. Write down oh, the write down everything. Write it down, write it down, write it down, write it down, and let this help your marriage and those that are preparing to be married. And no expectation too big and no, no expectation, expectation too, too small. small. Down to the little. Yes. What do you like? And, and you can't forget the don't like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now that y'all can know how to work around that and it's going to help your relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's honestly going to help your build relationship. That, build so. that strategy. Build that strategy. So before we go, I want you to understand. Please remember this. Marriage can be a beautiful and fulfilling thing if the both partners are yeah. fully aware on how to commit. Yeah. The commitment. And making, and it, making work. it work. Yeah. So, peace. We love you all. This kingdom marriage. Bye.